LSU Northern cut the ribbon and opened their new football stadium earlier this week. Hey. Though the lights won't be playing football in the fall, the event had a game day atmosphere. 58, Joe Fair. I'm so happy that we got the turnout we do, and oh, yeah. this is what game day is going to look like on this campus from now on, and that's, that's a big deal for us. And that was by design. There was a special guest of honor in attendance, Highline football legend and longtime MSU Northern supporter Mike Tillman. Well, the uh, thought of the school grabbing itself by its bootstraps and pulling itself back together and, and uh, making its own identity, and we need football here, and it's, it's a proud sport, and, and we're happy as Tillman family to be a part of, of the, putting this together. The Tillman family spearheaded the charge to bring football to MSU Northern 20 years ago and were instrumental in supporting the drive for a new stadium. Well, uh, he's the first guy I met when I accepted the job and there's a reason for that. Without Mike Tillman, without the Tillman family, there's no Northern football. So I think that speaks for itself and uh, to have him out here today is special. He and his family have done a tremendous amount just for the school itself. Tillman has struggled with health issues this year and has passed along many of his duties and philanthropic efforts to his son Craig. He's been in the hospital for the last five months and he just got out of the hospital here three, three weeks ago, got back to Haver about two weeks ago and it's been a little tough so it's really nice that he's been able to see this stadium and, and, and he kind of wishes he could watch some football this fall. The lights made sure it was a special event, running a play, on clap, on clap. Ready? scoring a touchdown. and presenting Tillman with the game ball. Oh, that was cool. That was cool. I uh, never dreamt that would happen. I thought I was beyond uh, scoring those touchdowns. And there was one final surprise. The stadium will officially be called Tillman Field. We wouldn't be here without them. This stadium wouldn't be here without them. Our program wouldn't be here without them. So I think that speaks for itself. Tom Wiley, MTN Sports.